Hey guys, Jim here from Million and Suds and Such Gem Be Scented. I am restocking my oatmeal milk and honey soap. I've made videos of this lots and lots of times, but people still like to see the newest video. So I'm recording it. Um, I'm melting my hard oils and butters with my lye water. And over here I have my honey. Ooh, there we go. You guys can see that in there. Yumminess for that. And I have ground oatmeal. I uh, use a coffee grinder. Fragrance oil. This is my liquid oil. It has my butter, or, um, my oats and my clay, and my goat milk, or uh, not goat milk, my oats and my clay, and my heavy cream powders all in here. And fragrance is back there. My little bubble wrap for the top of the soap is all ready. My mold's ready. Yeah, we're ready to get this show on the road. So, uh, this soap has been out of stock for a while. I've had lots of people requesting this one and my facial soap. So, I'm restocking both of those today. And then I'm also working on some Father's Day soaps. So, all excited. All right, I'm going to pause you guys to bring you back once everything is melted. Okay, so I have just a couple of little pieces left. And I'll hit them with my stick blender. But before that, I want to buzz up my liquid oils to incorporate my powders. This just really allows them to be mixed in well. Put this over here. a really simple soap to make so and with the liquids scrape our bowl Now I'm going to go ahead because it takes a little bit of mixing to get all this oatmeal in. Lots of goodness here. I actually stuck it in the microwave for about 10 seconds and that helps loosen it up. And 
in with our fragrance. This is awesome stick blender. <laughs> All right, everything's nice and incorporated. honey on my spatula so I want to clean it off because I don't want to get any unmixed honey in the soap. Alright, can I see that okay? I used to add titanium dioxide so my soap didn't get dark. I don't anymore. Um, I actually like the natural honey color that it kind of goes. Because it will darken a little bit. You guys know I'm left-handed, so this is awkward. Give this a little smack down. Uh, down here. Okay. Now. Okay, now I'm going to pause you guys, let this set up a little bit more, and then I'll texture the center. Okay. That's easy for me. C, C, C for me. Mm, 
don't think it's quite ready. Yeah, it might be. Kind of build it up a little bit. <sighs> Mommy, it it was dark and it was my dream. Yeah. It was dark and mm -hmm. that was my dream and it was going to sleep and me was going to sleep. In your dream? Yeah. Oh. All right, guys, we'll bring you back for the cutting. In my dream. We are back. I'm going to cut the oatmeal milk and honey soap. Goodness, I make a mess when I'm cutting soaps. Here is the top. I really like how it turned out. So let me cut the sample piece. Now this is just really simple soap. No design other than the top. Got lots of soaps to cut and candles to pour. Now, if you guys have sensitive skin or just need a really nice moisturizing bar of soap, this is an awesome soap. It's the only soap that I make with extra oatmeal and honey in it. It's got a very light scent. Piece. All right, guys, that's that. I'll cut the other one off the camera. We'll check you later.